What's going on, everybody? First off, grace, peace, and mercy be unto you all from Jehovah our Father, Jesus Christ our Lord, and the Holy Spirit. All right, so this video right here is going to be video number three, the final video, where it's based off of when the brother, he had commented and said, so what do you do with this scripture? Revelation chapter 20, verse 12. And he put the scripture down. So <clears throat> this video is going to be in response to Revelation chapter 20 and verse 12. But we're going to we're going to we're going to basically keep this scripture into context because the scripture says this. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God and the books were open and another book was open, which is the book of life. <clears throat> and the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the, in the books according to their works. So I'm guessing that he's basically trying to make it to be that when, when the, the dead, small and great stand before God, I guess he's trying to make it to be that that's Jesus. But we're going to just go ahead. And, matter of fact, let's just go ahead and read Revelation chapter 20. It says, and I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bound him a thousand years. So right there, John is telling us that he saw an angel come down with a, a great chain and the key to the bottomless pit. And he laid hold, he basically grabbed that serpent and cast them into the bottomless pit. And that serpent is the devil and Satan. And he was bound a thousand years. Then verse three says, and cast them into the bottomless pit and shut him up and set a seal upon him that he should deceive the nations no more till the thousand years should be fulfilled. And after that, he must be loosed a little season. So right there, let us know that Satan is going to be bound for a thousand years and he can't deceive the nations no more. But he's going to be released after that thousand years. And I saw thrones and they sat upon them and the judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus and for the word of God, which had not worshiped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands. And they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years. So now it's, John is letting us know that we in the lot that we're going to be in a lot of times when that beast and that false prophet shall arise. We that don't receive the mark of the beast in our in the forehead or in our right hand that we are going to reign with Jesus Christ. The, the one that been beheaded. And everything we're going to reign with jesus christ we're going to have our thrones and sit and reign with jesus christ as well verse 5 says but the rest of the dead live not again until the thousand years were finished this is the first resurrection so now the the rest of the dead is basically the ones that probably received the the, the mark on their forehead and their hand they they still going they still sleep they still dead it says, blessed and holy is he that has part in the first resurrection. On such, the second death has no power, but they shall be priests of God and of Christ and shall reign with him a thousand years. So right there is letting us know that we that didn't receive that mark, that didn't uh, receive the mark in our hands and our forehead, that we that <clears throat> kept to the scriptures and preached Jesus Christ, and preach the word of God that we that will be beheaded and basically persecuted for that cause that we are um, raised to where the second death has no power. We are we basically are, 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 are safe. We home. We at home base. We free. We good. But then it says, and when the thousand years are expired. Satan shall be loosed out of his prison 
and shall go out to deceive the nations which are in the four quarters of the earth, Gog and Magog, to gather them together to battle, the number of whom is as the sand of the sea. So right there is basically letting us know that after the thousand years are done, <clears throat> Satan is going to be released again. And he's going to be uh, deceiving the nations yet again for a little while. But he's going to be gathering um, together people that will go to battle and go to war with him against us and Jesus Christ. <clears throat> and it says that the number of them are as the sand of the sea. Like, yo, can y'all not imagine how many people that is that's going to basically be deceived? That's going to be... Basically, they're going to they're gonna see that second death. They're going to die with uh, Satan. Can you can y'all not imagine that number? It says the number of the sand of the sea. So that's each little grain of sand. That's a lot of people, man. That's going to be deceived that's going to fall because of, of satan they're going to be led astray then verse 9 says and they went up on the breadth of the earth and compassed the camp of the saints about and the beloved city and fire came down from god out of heaven and devoured them so right there is letting it be known that they they, they basically going to come upon cover the earth and come up uh, uh, over where we are that's going to be with Jesus that because we still go, Jesus ain't left. He's still here. And we that basically ha had was risen that ha have our thrones and stuff that we are going to be with him. But they're going to come past. Basically, they're going to surround the, the city where we are with Jesus. But it said that the fire, <laughs> it said fire and brimstone came out of heaven and devoured them. From God. So if, if the fire and brimstone came out of heaven and devoured them, from it came from God. <clears throat> how can Jesus be God? Because he's on earth. He's here. How do we how we know that? Because it says, verse 6 again. Blessed and holy is he that has part in the first resurrection. On such the second death has no power. But they shall be priests of God and of Christ and shall reign with him a thousand years. So we still here. And but the reason why we know we still here, because it didn't say we left. It didn't say that we were taken up or whatever. It, it didn't say that. So we still here. Verse 10. And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone where the beast and the false prophet are and shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. So now <clears throat> Satan is cast into the lake of fire with the prophet and with the, with the false prophet and with the beast. So that he's cast, he, he's, he's gone. They're going to be tormented day and night forever and ever. Verse 11. And I saw a great white throne and him that sat on it from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away and there was found no place for them. This great white throne that he saw that the earth and the heavens had fled away from it. That's the father. That's God. And it says, and there was no place found for them. Then verse 12 says, and I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. <clears throat> the great white throne, him that sat on it, heaven and earth, fled from the face. And there was found no place for them. Stood before, he saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. So, how do we know that that's God? That we stand before him? Because Jesus said this in Matthew chapter 10, verse 32. He said, whosoever shall confess me before men, him will I confess before my father, which is in heaven. But whosoever shall deny me before men, 
him will I also deny before my father, which is in heaven. So Jesus said that he will confess us that confess him publicly on earth. He will confess us before his father and that those that don't confess him, he will not confess them before his father. Yet again, verse 12 said, and I saw the dead small and great stand before God in front of God and the books were open and another book was open, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. Now I'm about to show you that for one, it's not God that's doing the judging. It's Jesus that's going to be doing the, doing the judging. Because look at John 5, 22, where it says, For the Father judges no man, but have committed all judgment unto the Son. So Jesus Christ is going to be the one that's judging us. Verse 12 again. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. And the books were open. And another book was open, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. So we are judged by Jesus. And now I'm going to go to Revelation chapter 5 to show you that the book of life, the book, Jesus had took it out of his hand, out of the hand of the father that sat on the throne. Verse 1 says, And I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book written within and on the back side sealed with seven seals and I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice who is worthy to open the book and to loose the seals thereof and no man in heaven nor in earth nor under the earth was able to open the book neither to look thereon and I wept much because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book neither to look thereon <clears throat> and one of the elders said unto me weep not behold the line of the tribe of Judah Jesus Christ, the root of David, Jesus Christ, have prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof. And I beheld, and lo, in the midst of the throne and of the four beasts and in the midst of the elders stood a lamb as it had been slain and having, and having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God, sent forth into all the earth. And he came and took the book out of the right hand of him that sat upon the throne. The lamb, Jesus Christ, took the book out of the hand of him that sat upon the throne. So, <clears throat> make, putting that into contrast, going back to verse Revelation chapter 20, where it says that I saw a great white throne, that's, the God, that's God, and him that sat on it, from whose fate from whose face the earth and heaven fled away death and there was found no place for them then verse 12 when it says and i saw the dead small and great stand before god this is to let you know that we gonna stand before god but jesus is gonna be there as well doing the judging <clears throat> and then verse 13 says and the sea gave up the dead which were in it and death and hell delivered up the dead which was in them. And they were judged every man according to their works. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. And whosoever was found not written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. So Revelation chapter 20 verse 12, my brother, to the brother that had asked me what should I do with that? That's God. That, 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 that. We're going to stand before God. We're going to stand before him. The great right throne. That's God. We're going to stand before him. But Jesus is the one that's going to be doing the judging. That's all I got to say, man. <laughs> like, we can't ignore Jesus. We can't ignore Jesus and, and try to say, mm, well, he's, he's no more. He's no more. He's done away with we can't do that because the scriptures don't do that. Jesus is the son of God who is judgment is rendered unto him to judge us, to judge the world. That's the reason why you, you even see in the scripture, Revelation chapter 20, where that 
we're gonna reign with Christ for a thousand years because we kept we, we we kept to the gospel, we preached the gospel, we didn't take the mark of the beast in our head, in our heads. We're gonna reign with him a thousand years. So it's and then it let it be known that the great white throne <clears throat> that he saw it. And him that sat on it, from whose face the earth and heaven fled away. That's God. But we're going to stand before God because we're, Jesus is still here. So Jesus is going to be, judgment is rendered unto him. Revelation chapter 20 and 12. That's that in, in a nutshell. So I'm going to say grace, peace, and mercy be unto you. I love y'all. I pray that you get it. I pray you see it. And y'all be blessed. Peace.